Got you sorted. What's going on guys, Hydrabrigan on here. In today's video we're going to be entering 8th Prestige in Call of Duty Cold War. Yet again, playing zombies, haven't touched multiplayer for the entire Prestige. If you guys are interested, I'll show you. Uh, this is my new player card, I guess. You know, something new. It's stuff that they used to have in older Call of Duty games. But, you know, they brought it back now. This Prestige, I've been working on my assault rifles. I got all of them up to about level 40. Some of them are a little low, but... I'm kind of waiting to do them because I'm almost already done with the camos in the last two uh, tiers of challenges. It's literally just headshots rapidly and then consecutive kills without getting hit. So that's about all I have have left really for a majority of my weapons. I have to just finish up the FFAR a little bit and I think I have to finish up the AK a little bit more. And then, oh, I already got the AK set. but. When it comes to the rest of this procedure, just I don't think I did. I, mean, I think I did one high round where I went to, for, to. It wasn't even that high of a round. It was uh, round 45. Um, when it comes to my skill points, I've been just distributing them a little bit of everywhere. Possibly getting ready for a high round, trying to. You know, I got some most of the perks done. But these, I don't really know what to do with them because they're just. You know, I just throw them onto random guns like that. Uh, and so. I can also claim my token for hitting this prestige. I am also now that makes me officially tier 56. I have two weeks left to finish this, hoping we actually get a double tier weekend sometime soon. So when it comes to my seasonal challenges, I've all of them done besides using the Ray K for I think it's 2,000 kills or maybe 1,500 kills. Uh, re reviving myself with Tombstone, I think I have to do that 10 times. I only have three so far. I haven't really been using it much. I've been using it a few matches and killing myself on purpose now. And then I just unlocked the new challenges for killing Mangler using an infected zombie with your brain rot. So that's be an interesting one to complete because you specifically have to kill him with brain rot. That's going to be actually a really interesting one. Zombie challenges have not changed at all. Haven't collected no new intel. I've only really just been doing solo matches leveling up my guns, completing camo challenges, and I would say that's just about it. This is something, I don't know if you guys really care, Ray Gun, KSP, and Milano top 3 guns, so all these other guns, like top 10 or whatever. When it comes to my equipment, I never really noticed that all this stuff is here. I guess my most used equipment is a stim shot, then a monkey bomb, and a C4, which makes sense, those are about the only things I really use. Most elims in a match, I guess, from a monkey bomb is 81. I only really use them on Xville. I average about 10.5 kills for one use. Stim shot, I use about 200. And most kills after shortly healing is 5,721. Most use kill streak is a chopper gunner. Most kills in a game, 624. Average about 40.5 per use, use about 49. And yeah, for some reason, no stats for this one. Field upgrade, ring of fire, and ether shroud. Those are, I use ether shroud around launch, and I just have since then been using ring of fire. You know, some new things added on to the stats. Currently, I sit around 132,510 kills, have 501 elite eliminations, average about 960 eliminations per game. I have 77,038 headshots, and my personal best is 6,628 eliminations in a single match, which, yet again, I haven't gone for high rounds like that in this game yet. I have 4 days, 7 hours, 24 minutes, 138 games played. It comes to multiplayer, I have 14 hours, 34 minutes, 101 matches played, 1.31 uh, win-loss ratio, 2.0. A limbs to death ratio, I don't know why I don't just say KD. Uh, 2,341 kills, score per minute is a 398, 23 eliminations to my average per game, highest kill streak 13. Top 3 guns, Stoner, Crook 6, MP5. Comes to leaderboards and zombies, I am ranked 281,000. I've been climbing up there pretty fast, to be honest with you. Comes to Dead Ops, ranked 263,004. Comes to career kills, or actually, the only a different thing on here is total rounds. 
Got a total of 2,918 rounds. And there's nothing else different. These would not have changed. I do plan on doing high rounds soon. Intel haven't collected anything different. So for when you hit 8th Prestige, you get another Prestige icon, which this one, it, it's not bad. I think it's just, you know, a little awkward. You know, full America mode, basically. Pretty cool though. I just don't think it looks better than last procedure. And I think also ninth procedure looks. Is it ninth or tenth? I'm thinking of. I think ninth procedure looks a lot better. Yeah, it's a skull with the snake. Pretty nice looking emblem. So if you guys don't already know, with my keys, I plan on saving them up. I am planning on actually buying when I hit level 200 the Black Ops 3 Procedure Master Calling Card. Which it's actually animated in this game, which it wasn't in Black Ops 3. So yeah, that's what I plan on buying with my Prestige key, and I don't think there's much of anything else to show. Uh, if you guys have any suggestions of things you want to see on my channel, let me know down in the comments. I will say, I played this new Onslaught Containment mode. I feel like it's a lot better for Onslaught. That mode is a lot faster. You get upgrades, and it, you're, it's not like you just get to you know about seven elites because it starts getting rough when you have no pack a punch no weapon tier levels or nothing because normally in the regular onslaught they just drop crappy guns this mode the guns are pretty good pack a punch makes it so much easier pretty good game mode in my opinion i will just say that but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did leave a like if you're new subscribe give me any suggestions on videos you would like to see and as always, have a great day. Peace out.